Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got Ian and Joel in the house. Stay tuned. I literally just got so excited that I was here when you said that. <laughs> in the house with me, I got Joel, I got Ian, and I got me. And for us to be in the same room after seeing um, these guys for over 10 years. I've been on YouTube 14. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm an old man on, on YouTube. I've only been on for two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that. My man here is a little burnt out. I've heard the stories, I've seen the videos, and I, I guess I'm an infant in the business, so um, I'm not there yet. I've seen you talking about it though. You did like kind of a holiday video, um, yeah, a couple months ago, and you were kind of talking about trying to balance it. Like, I, so I, I know you understand. I, I'm sure, like you, we, um, we are the face of it, but we have a lot of support that sure. make us look better than, than we, we should. are. <laughs> yeah. Thank yous to our teams out there. After watching you for 14 years, um, there's been a burning question that I've been wanting to ask you. I know you used to play with uh, Wilson FST 95. That's right. Which is on my list for worst racket ever I ever love made. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Everybody why? hated that racket. Why? <laughs> You get those for fifty nine ninety nine at the end of the life cycle. Yep. I have to ask you about that right before we jump into the new stuff you play with. Mm -hmm. um, why did you have a yellow one and a red one? I was a user of the whole six one pro staff line, uh, starting uh, in the early two thousands and through the whole you know encode and uh, hypercarbon and like the, however many uh, there were. So when they discontinued the the six one, I was looking for a ninety five square inch racket that still came in a four and five eighths grip because that's what that's what I was just used to using. Wow! And Wilson just started they dis started discontinuing all the four and five eighths uh, grips and it was paired with a ninety five. So that that's why I, that's why I tried it initially and I was like, yeah, you know, it was, it was close enough. And I painted them because for years I was looking for a partnership with a with a brand. And I was just getting so close with a couple of the like the big ones, and it would just always fall through at the last second. And it got to the point where it was, where it was like, you know what? Until this actually works out, I'm I'm painting I'm painting the rackets. So it's just like a little bit, uh, maybe a little, uh, me being a little bit salty, and just wanting to wait until I actually had something official going. Yeah, because you you had me deceived because yeah. when you wave <laughs> that red racket around, V Core ninety eight, mm, yeah. Core it's got a little bit of that shape, right, yeah, exactly. The Onyx, uh, shape to it. So that's why all like, oh, he's on the Onyx, he's on the Onyx, and then you whip yeah. the yellow one out. I'm like, what the <laughs> is that? So like, the FST 95, you got it because you because it came in a five eight and it was a 95 square inch head. Wow. And it was like in a pro in the pro staff kind of family. Probably on the worst side of the family. A legitimate child. It's like twice removed. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. God. Three times. Five times removed. Yeah, oh, all who's not allowed at family gathering. Exactly. <laughs> not that racket. So you went from there. You went from there yep. to another obscure brand, yep. Diadam. Now, are you on the regular or are you on the tour? Um, I'm on the, the tour right now. You're on the tour. Yeah, I tried them both, and I was really on the fence between. They're very, very similar. They they feel very similar. The the regular is just a little easier to swing, uh, a little less mass uh, going through contact. But I'm at heart a net player, and for for volleys like the extra weight just feels so much more oh. at home for me. So if I was gonna like maybe commit to be more of a base liner, which I, I've kind of done uh, recently, the regular would be better for you know I'm not a big strong like athlete, and so the regular would probably be a better racket for me. But since I'm more of a net player, I like the I like the tour better. I saw that when you first got them, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna go with the tour right now. And then mm -hmm. did you ever pick up the other one, the regular again? No, no, I haven't swung it since I since I whenever I published that video and I kind of did like the play test. Sure, I literally haven't swung the regular since, yeah, since that play test video. Uh oh, that's 
Interesting. I'm I'm the kind of guy that like once I get into a routine, like that's it. Like I'm good. I, I don't I don't really deviate or experiment. I'm I'm pretty boring. I guess that's why I don't really get into gear much. Like I know what I like, and my my mo most common like um, advice to players is find out what you like. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like that it kind of gets uh, old and repetitive after a while, and that's basically my my go to advice. So what strings in there? So it's the the Diadem uh, Solstice Black. Uh, which is a shaped uh, poly, and I use the the uh, seventeen gauge tension. It's been fifty three. Do you use overgrip? I do. I I use uh, <laughs> I use a uh, clipper. I use clipper mate uh, overgrips. Oh, clipper mate. Yeah, okay. I, I started using them in high school. I learned how to string on a on a clipper mate uh, drop weight machine and uh, got their overgrips. I don't know. I got a couple samples probably like with the machine. Just got got to like the feel of it, and I've always used clipper uh, overgrips. You know, I think Diadem makes overgrips. Oh, I don't know. They probably do. I told you, man. I, I, I see what I like, and I, I stick with it. Yeah, American company, like uh, really nice people, and um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to have like an actual relationship with a brand instead of just using you know random gear and not really having any kind of partnership. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I worked something out with them. What kind of shoes do you wear? I know it's Nike, but what is that? They're the same. <laughs> Maybe I should talk about this more. I, I, I use some weird stuff. So yeah, I use, uh, I'm pretty sure discontinued now, uh, Serena uh, shoes, uh, size 12. Uh, Not Serena. the high tops? No. It was shoe design for Serena. They're very soft and flexible and very low to the ground, which is, I day to day, like you see me uh, teaching in these, which, oh, which, have, which have no like uh, support whoa. at all. They're, they're barefoot like style That's shoes. Bad for your feet. Well, there's different opinions, <laughs> different opinions on that. So I was looking for like the softest, flexiest, like tennis shoe I could find, and I tried a bunch, and that was that was the the winner. I feel like the name of that shoe has been like Vapor Team or something like that. Yeah, I mean, right? it, it's like the really lower way. grade Vapor that's lighter, more meshy, yeah. wears out faster, has not not a lot of support. The name of the shoe is uh, Nike Women's Court Flare Two. Yes, Flare. So is it a women's flare. shoe in a big size? Yeah, yeah. It's Serena's shoe in a, in a size women's size twelve. So you're wearing women's shoes? Yeah. Okay. He's a huge woman. Look, guys, I'm digging so deep. He, the man wears women's shoes. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Just when you maybe that's why I don't talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you th thought you heard enough about it's me. Joel, you're a comedian. Why don't you chime in here? <laughs> I mean, sometimes reality is more is funnier than, than any uh, joke you could write. Uh, true. <laughs> that, uh, but this um, this uh, reveals a lot about Ian Wester, yeah. man, Wester, woman. Wester, right? I spent a week with this guy driving around the country, and this never came up. So uh, I'm learning yeah, stuff. Why, new. why would it? Yeah. I never thought to ask you what gender shoes. Hey, those women's shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those women's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> All right, so equipment questions for you, Joel. Yeah, Talk my favorite me. racket is the uh, the Radical Six MP, um, the head by, made by Head. Although I recently switched to the the racket right next to uh, the Yonex uh, V4 100L, oh. just because it's a little lighter. And uh, a coach recommended it, and I actually like having a little bit of a lighter. Why didn't you racket. travel with with that one then? With which one? Because you have the, you've been hitting with the head this week, right? No, I've been hitting with the Yonex. Oh, week. you have? Yeah, yeah. They're different colors, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So it shows you how much I've been <laughs> yeah. someone, someone told me that Yonex is a great racket, but they need to be customized. They're not, they're rarely good for the player right off the rack. They need to be weighted and fit for the player. What do you, what's your opinion of that? It depends on how good the le the player is. Obviously, if, if you're at a certain level, um, I think the hundred's fine for mm -hmm. most people who are like three, five, four, zero. Oh. Anything above that, you're probably gonna need to add weight somewhere. Right. Yeah. So it's the league players; they're perfect the way they are. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, strings. Strings. What kind of strings? Selenko Hyper G. That's the hot, the hot string right it now. It is. Isn't it? It's not my favorite. Yeah. No. It loses tension too soft. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that's just my the opinion. customers coming back though, doesn't it? It does. It's like the number six <laughs> string on the market right now. And I'm like, well, okay, fine. String another damn green one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> More profits for Harry. What do you no, I, I know. I know. I just, I don't know. I think people could do better. Like, what string would you recommend if someone said, 
I just need a recommendation for a great string. Oh, Which I've been selling for? a confidential. I'm still in the Slinko mm -hmm. family. I just like it a little firmer. Mm -hmm. And I call that string more predictable. You know, you hit it hard, it does what it's supposed to do. It's going to take off, right? On the Hyper G, I hit it hard and dies. I hit it soft, it takes off. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. It's counterintuitive for me. Like, it doesn't understand me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I don't understand it. <laughs> Maybe start wearing women's shoes and your, uh, your understanding of yourself. It might, it might well, cross. 12, <laughs> I might be like a size 16 or something. <laughs> shoe. Grips. Over, are you an overgrip person? Yeah, I do have. I bought on Amazon this huge bucket of Wilson overgrips. And oh, yeah. One on Pro overgrips. Those are yeah, great. Yeah, standard. Yeah. Nothing special. And what kind of women's shoes do you wear? They're Pumps. called men's. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I got the I got high endurance. Like the uh, they're guaranteed not to wear out. Uh, made by Prince, and I really like them. They they last. They, I used to rip holes in the bottom of the shoes very easily, and uh, I like having a pair that's durable. You know, durability guaranteed. Yeah, I know how that feels. Right? Even though these don't have six months, I don't. I think six months is going to be extinct soon. That's what I heard from somebody else recently. They're kind of phasing that out. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. But it's such a staple for for so long. Yeah. If you're like a, a higher level player, you kind of could count on a little oh, yeah. bit more bang for your buck. Totally. Mm -hmm. Totally. But, but what I heard is that people aren't really taking advantage of it. No. Either. No. They're they're too rich now. They're too wealthy. All right. Just buying a new pair and not waiting for that other pair to come. So. Um, I just want to share something with you guys real quick. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have questioned what I use and if it's actually fact. So that's, that's actually my racket. Yeah. Yeah. Where else is there? Wow, there's a lot of weight yeah, on underneath here. the handle. Underneath the handle, four Dude. big strips all what's the way the, down. What's the total weight on it? Give me a guess. Oh, jeez. 320. Uh, what, is the, what does the clash start at? That's a pro, so it starts at 10, 9, no strings. Uh, okay, I'm going to go... Uh, so, uh, no strings, I'm going to go 11... I'm going to go 11, 11, 8. Higher? <laughs> is it over 12? It's about 11, 8 with the strings in. So, yeah, it's with all that lead, it's got to be more than that. Wow. Keep going. Are you up to 13? Wow. It's this freaking sledgehammer. Yeah. One pound. 13, 3. That's well, what I, I was trying, to but I couldn't pound. get there. <laughs> that would be layered and layered with lead if we went to a pound. <laughs> but, but yes, guys, firsthand witnesses, they felt my racket. It's very heavy. It is 13 three. All right, guys. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks for it having was us. A pleasure. And I'm glad I learned a little bit about Ian's. More than you ever wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the shop's incredible, Harry. It's just it's a thrill to be here after seeing so so much of your content. I hope I hope you keep it up because oh, you're, you're helping you. a lot of people and it's uh, it's really enjoyable to watch. Thank you so much, and thank you for being my mentor. Um, you and a bunch of other people have kind of inspired me to do this oh, in amazing. the first place. That's great to hear so, that. Thank you. Yeah. As Ted Lasso says, I appreciate you. Right back at you. Joel the Comedian. Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> like, does anyone know why I'm sitting in this uh, chair next to Ian? Fashion tips. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I obviously need, I need help, so <laughs> that's why you're here. It's an intervention. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. You know, most people, they quit tennis because, you know, it's hard to find somebody to play with, right? I'm just, I just feel so lucky to have my buddy, my buddy Coach Rob, that we have so much in common. You know, we're, we're both kind of follically impaired. And you know, ain't that right, Coach Rob? Us follically challenged friends have to hit together. Yes, so I have Coach Rob if you guys need a friend and you're follically impaired or are a bearded one and looking for your bearded mate, right? Check out Player Court. They have people that look like you, play like you, maybe act like you. Check out their site. It's playercourt.com. Your tennis buddy can teach you how to twirl. Hopefully You'll get it someday. Hopefully better than that. We'll have to keep practicing here. <laughs>